right, welcome back everybody to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing up the final piece of the uh, gem module, Kibbo module, uh, the little uh, logistics part. I'm going to bring that up, put it on top of the uh, last module that was brought up and uh, get her docked. I did some tweaking to the shuttle. Uh, we'll actually be doing the full 180 degree roll on, on launch this time. So. That'll be fun. I need to, uh, where the hell's the station at? There it is. Set as target. All right, enable autopilot, launch to rendezvous. Going into the shade of the VAB. So Endeavor on uh, STS-124, I, I believe, brought this up, or 123, I can't remember which one it is. Might have been 123, I think Endeavor brought this up. Shaky, that's all right. Their heads down for the uh, gravity turn. I did uh, get the uh, visual enhancements going. I also found a, a new skybox, which everyone said was really cool. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I'll see. Who, I'll see what you guys think here. Uh, for the uh, shows the Milky Way and all that crap, but. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's a little overpowering, but I really don't know how it really looks in space. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below here. Uh, what you think of the skybox when I get there, and uh, let me know if I should change back or not. I'm still very iffy about it. I really don't know how I feel. Cruising right along, very nicely. So I did some more tweaking on the uh, separation of the boosters. It's still not perfect, it's still roll, but it's not as aggressive and crazy. At least it wasn't the last time I tried this, so we'll see how it is here in a minute. Well, in like 15 seconds, but... Alright, here we go. Let's see. Not as bad. Not as bad. Doesn't induce as much goofiness in the in the shuttle, so I'm not... not Alright, here comes the skybox, guys. Let me know what you think of this. See what I mean? Look how, uh, how vibrant it is. I'm not sure how I feel about feel about that. I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know. Seems like almost like a bit much. Here comes the ISS. I did adjust the launch profile a bit on here too. Hopefully, I didn't screw anything up. I think we'll be all right, actually. It's going to be spot on. Yeah, I actually may have improved it a little bit better. Like, this looks cool as shit, but then you're like, like, oh my god, oh my god, the center of the galaxy is so bright. Why can't I see it during the daylight? I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about it. Maybe I'm just being picky. I don't know.
All right, let's make this happen. Come on, no whammies, no whammies. And it's going to glitch up a little bit while it loads the ISS in. And she's gone. I may not have done a very good job here. Get a little far away from it. Uh, we'll see. See, the sun's down, I wonder where the horizon is. Look how bright that is. See, I don't know how I feel about that. What's going on? Alright, let's lose this external tank. Alright, let's get to the ISS. Oh, it's dark as shit. I did find this cool camera tool um, for launches. I'll, I'll post a video. I'm going to make a launch video or launch compilation video of the shuttle. Uh, shuttle launches because that tool, that camera tool is really cool. You can set a camera on the ground and watch the launch from the ground uh, and stay on the ground as it goes up. Which is a cool little effect, honestly. I like it a lot. Come on, shuttle. Do your magic. Yeah, I have no idea what like nebulas these are that I'm looking at or groups of star clusters, but see, I think that looks neat. That's just a bit much, though. I don't know. Flippy, flippy. Can't wait till that's not a thing. See, once I put that visual visual pack in, the planet looks a lot better. So hopefully you guys enjoy enjoy that. I know someone made a recommendation. I don't remember who it was. They basically said I should stop sucking and. Uh, get that mod installed. So yeah. And there she is! And 
please, for the love of God, don't smack into it. Right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright. Let's get this. Let's make this happen. I'm going to try to. I'm gonna probably put this thing up like I, well, I don't know. I don't really know if there is an upside down or not to it, but usually the uh, shuttle will have its nose facing upwards towards the trusses. But I'm gonna flip it up the other way so I can grab this uh, uh, logistics module and get it out with the uh, Canada two arm a little bit easier. Let's see. That's dark on this side. Oh, that's a really bright star. What's that? ISS. Boy, I wish I would uh, come around the other side of the planet and get a uh, get a little bit of light here. Got a little ways to go, judging by the by the lights hitting the moon. But that's all right. We'll deal with it. realize I'm facing the wrong way. Spinny, spinny. go Am I? Not very close. Sorry, right, let's uh, use the target. And activate docking camera. Cool. You can see the moon in the background of that uh, 
camera. I'm a little high. Pitch and roll aligned, and uh, looks like the yaws aligned too. So that's nice. Should be fairly easy now. That looks cool as hell. See the galaxy cloud, or you know, I don't know, dust clouds, whatever the fuck that's called, in the camera. That's neat. All right, it's like watching paint dry. It just looks cool. Much cooler. I'm good. How about that shit? That's all right. Oh, just in time for the sun to come up. All right. Pretty cool. All right. Docked. 
Let's see here. I'm gonna pull this out and get it on top of here. Alright, so once again, just so you guys aren't like, holy hell, this is taking forever, I'm probably going to speed this up and, uh, I don't know, blast through this, uh, this, well, I don't know if it's be blasting through, but I'll speed it up so you guys aren't bored, more bored than you already are watching me dock to this, uh, to the ISS. Alright, let me, uh, let me get this going here. Let's see, what do I got to do? Alright guys, uh, got the uh, module attached finally, it looks like it's lined up pretty good, and uh, I was, I was kind of worried there for a second, thought I was going to break the uh, Japanese module off, the KBO, but it stayed, luckily, so uh, boy, this looks pretty good, I like this shit. Let's see here, alright, well I am going to... Undock, because this mission is complete. As far as I'm concerned. Undock. And then we're going to push away. Magnificent. Do a little, uh, do a little backflip before we go here. All right, guys. Well, uh, th thanks for watching the video. I, I do appreciate it. You know, uh, every time you guys come by and check these out, uh, it just makes me, uh, makes me happy to know that you guys are enjoying the videos. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. I'll uh, be posting more of these. I'm not sure if I'll do multiple a week or do it every Monday. I know for sure every Monday you're gonna there, there'll be a ISS build video. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's probably I'm for sure doing that. But you know, I might sometimes I get bored at home and I'll I'll do another video just to just to keep it alive and going. So uh, all right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like the video, share it. Uh, it helps me out, and then. Uh, Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, at the end of this video here, I'll have some links to some other stuff if you guys want to check it out. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you on the next trip up. Take it easy.